I'm Mark Conrad, the South District Superintendent. I like to tell people that when it gets really cold in Southern Arizona, that's when I put socks on. Now, this is some of the gear that I used to wear when I had a dog team in Alaska. Now, if the Tucson area ever gets hit by a deep freeze, I'm ready. Working with my dog team taught me a lot of lessons. One of the biggest lessons was how powerful the team is when it's working together. I'm reminded of a time when I was training my team before there was snow on the ground, and I was using a four-wheeler. I would hook them up to my four-wheeler, I would get it started, and we would take off, and then I could give them assistance as needed from the four-wheeler. And this particular time, we took off really strong and powerful from the dog lot. And as we raced along, we got to a hill, and I decided I needed to give them a little bit of extra gas. And as I did, I realized that I had forgotten to turn the four-wheeler on. And this was all the dogs. I love how powerful the dog team is when they're working together. And I love how powerful we as Christians are when we work together. We have differences, but we are all of the same spirit. This makes me think of what we're taught in 1 Corinthians 12 in verses 12 to 27. And here's what it says. For just as the body is one and has many members, And all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body. Jews are Greeks, slaves are free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. Indeed, the body does not consist of one member, but of many. If the foot would say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. And if the ear would say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing be? If the whole body were hearing, where would the sense of smell be? But as it is, God arranged the members in the body, each one of them as he chose. If all were a single member, where would the body be? As it is, there are many members, yet one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. On the contrary, the members of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And those members of the body that we think less honorable, we clothe with greater honor. And our less respectable members are treated with greater respect. Whereas our more respectable members do not need this. But God has so arranged the body, giving the greater honor to the inferior member that there may be no dissension within the body, but the members may have the same care for one another. If one member suffers, all suffer together with it. If one member is honored, all rejoice together with it. Now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. Amen. It is time for us to work together, to pull together for love. We need to celebrate our diversity, that God made us different from one another. Where would we be if we were all exactly the same? Let us pray our way forward as we go to the called General Conference. Let's pray. God, let your Holy Spirit wash over our general conference. Let each of the delegates feel your presence and know your love. Let there be peace with the people called United Methodists. And let your will be done 
Amen and amen.